my name is Dr. Mark Etherington and I'm a Vice Chancellor's Senior Fellow in the Department of Mathematics, Physics and Electrical Engineering at Northumbria University. I've used Hariba products in the past, so during my postdoctoral research I've used the uh, Hariba Fluorolog and Fluoromax and I just find working with these systems is um, very easy to do, it gives great data and as I'm starting up my new lab at Northumbria University I decided well I'll go for the, the Fluorolog QM, the latest in their uh, product range and that will give the best start to my research career at Northumbria University and my future students. So the Fluorolog QM, it's a modular piece of kit, so thinking long term as the basis of my research, being able to upgrade, being able to expand on this um, setup is one of the key um, reasons for going for it. So in my line of research, we'll be doing some sort of time resolved, uh, spectroscopy and there is a add-on for the Fluorolog QM which we'll be able to upgrade to in the future and in particular I'm also working on photoluminescence quantum yield which is basically how um, efficiently compounds emit light. So the Fluorolog QM has a, a really high signal to noise um, it's also using a uh, energy efficient xenon lamp which is um, a great sort of initiative and fits well with the sort of research that I do which is about making um, display systems as efficient as possible by finding new light emitting materials. So that aspect of the Fluorolog QM really attracted me to the product and again it's just this nice modular system where I can think about where my research group is going in the future and it'll be a piece of kit that I'll be able to take along with me by upgrading, by modifying in the future over the next sort of 5, 10, 15 years. In my research, I've been looking for new light emitting materials that will hopefully end up in display technology, so laptop screens, phone screens, TV displays. And one of the biggest challenges in that sort of field is finding an efficient and stable light emitting material that emits in the blue. So red and green emitters, red and green organic light emitting diodes, they already are re really well established. But blue organic light emitting diodes or OLEDs are a bit more challenging. So for the research that I'll be taking forward in the next couple of years, I've been studying one compound in particular and that's quinine. So quinine can be found in a glass of tonic water so if you're having a, a drink of tonic water on a, a sunny day, you might be able to see the blue glow of the quinine. And that blue glow is quite efficient. It's used as a fluorescent standard, but we can also capture that blue glow to hopefully maybe make more efficient blue OLEDs. While I'm not saying that we'll end up with a, a TV powered by quinine, but we can take the knowledge from studying quinine as a material, working out why it's so efficient, how it works, how we can control certain parameters and use that to modify or develop new emitters which then could eventually end up in the products that we use every day. And the key thing there is reducing the energy consumption of these displays. So rather than having to charge your mobile phone sort of once a day, you might be able to get to the um, case where you'd have to charge it maybe once a week, ideally. One of the, the major benefits of the, the Fluorolog QM with respect to my research is the, the fact that it has this wide wavelength range. So while I'll be mainly focusing on blue light emitting materials, we're actually interested in materials across the full visible spectrum. So we can learn about materials in the green, the red, the sort of UV blue, and the sort of red near infrared. So having that wavelength range to sort of cover that sort of full uh, base of materials, that full sort of area of um, investigation is really important because that means we can use the same system to study one compound and then use again the exact same system to study another compound even though they might be at different aspects of the, the wavelength range. So while we're mainly focusing on finding that blue material, 
any knowledge generated by studying across the full visible spectrum contributes to our knowledge base, contributes to our understanding of the processes in these systems, which we can then use going forward to design new novel emitters. Another particular aspect of the Fluorolog QM is the fact that it has got a very high signal to noise ratio, while at the same time we'll be studying a lot of materials that do emit very well. There will be times where we modify the, the compounds in such a way to turn off this emission just to fully understand what is the cause of it and being able to sort of in many ways be sure that the, the compound isn't emitting, having that high signal to noise ratio to see whether there is actually any sort of minimal fluorescence coming from the compound, it's equally important. So we want to know when a compound is emitting extremely well, but we also want to be sure sometimes that the compound isn't emitting at all or if there is any emission in the sort of the lower end of the, the signal range. The sales process with Hariba has been fantastic really. I've worked um, and engaged with uh, Dr. Simon Fitzgerald at Hariba and he's guiding me through the process of the sales procedure. I've been in regular contact with people at Hariba as the sales procedure has gone along so we know it every step of the way where the piece of equipment is, when it's been built, when it's been shipped, when it's arrived in the UK, and then finally when it's arrived um, here at Northumbria. So the, the service engineers and the installation, that's uh, gone without a hitch. It's already been uh, set up downstairs in the lab that I'll be using, and it's been great to see it put together firsthand, and just how smoothly and effectively it's been put together. The, They've done a, a great job and I'm very excited to be able to use it to study the materials that I want to study. For more information on the Fluorolog QM, visit www.fluorolog.com or contact us at inquiries.uk at hariba.com for customers in the UK and Ireland. Or if you are elsewhere in the world, contact us at info.sci at hariba.com.